Hello, I am Ronit Nikolsky, a senior lecturer in the Faculty of Arts. I'm a staff member of the Middle East Studies program and of the University Minor Culture and Cognition. The current COVID-19 pandemic situation forced us into online teaching and learning, but also to look for new ways to make the online class interaction more human and personal, and by this to ease both the process of learning as well as the teaching. It is surprising how much personal interaction can happen asynchronously. The relationship with the students begins before the course begins, and both parties have to take part in this relationship. I have to be there for them before I can ask the students to communicate with me. To introduce myself to the students, I have prepared a short introductory video about myself, about my background, a bit about my family, and about my intellectual, that is, professional interests. I'm using this introductory video in all my courses, and I post it on the learning platform, Nestor, before the course begins. I also make the students comfortable with the course before it begins by creating a video that describes the course, what will be the content, how is it going to run in terms of groups, synchronous, asynchronous learning, etc., and what their tasks and assignments are going to be. The personal audio and visual description of the course seems more pleasant than the written and the official documentation of learning outcomes and workload. In order to create a sense of community, I ask the student, even before the course begins, to say something about themselves and their intellectual background in a short video which they can record or can upload on Flipgrid. And I ask them also to react to other students' videos on this platform. Beside creating a small sense of community, posting on Flipgrid also allows me to know who my students are and helps me adjust my teaching accordingly. An added advantage is that posting on Flipgrid gives the students the time to get used to at the time. An added advantage is that posting on Flipgrid gives the students the time to get used to the skill of filming themselves, both technically as well as to get over the psychological barrier of being visible on screen if they have such a barrier, and they can do it in their own pace. During the course. During the course, the preferred method for the students to ask questions about the course is through the discussion board. Before the course begins, I start threads about some of the issues such as the final assignment, enrollment into groups, tests, etc., and encourage the students to post their questions there. In this manner, posting on the discussion board, I do not have to answer the same question many times in an email, and all students benefit from the questions and from the answers. I get an email alert each time a question is posted in a discussion board. And I also allow the students to start a thread of their own. Further, I enable the students to give anonymous feedback to the course throughout the course using Google Form. The form only says, post here any feedback or suggestion for the course, such and such. I post a link to the form on Nestor, and I'm alerted by email whenever there is a response to the form. More for communication, I enable the students to set an appointment with me if they so wish. I plan a few slots for appointments throughout the semester, 
and I post a link to these appointments on Nestor. The calendar allows a link uh, only for appointments. Assessments. Assessing in the environment of online learning is especially challenging. I try to reduce the traditional written exam to the bare minimum, and I don't have it at all in many of my courses. I use oral exams whenever possible, but also recorded and filmed assignments. But the students must feel comfortable with these platforms and skills before I demand these in an exam. Many of the assignments throughout the course are done vocally. I ask the student to record themselves and send in their recording. And I give auditory feedback as well. I use the talk and comment Chrome extension for this and tell the students about it too. By the time the students get to the exam, they are already trained in submitting voice files and I can ask them to do this during the exam. In other courses, I ask for weekly assignments to be submitted as a short video of two to three minutes. I suggest a few platforms for this, such as Loom, but also recording themselves on Collaborate Ultra. They could share their screen and camera, and I have created a few recording rooms sessions for them for this purpose. The final assignment in this course is a video clip of five to 10 minutes in which they analyze the materials they were assigned to analyze. So this is my take for online teaching. Be there for them, get them to do fun things and allow yourself as a teacher to move away from some of the traditional skills. Who knows, you might discover that you yourself enjoy some of these new skills. Good luck.